Hi, and welcome to another episode of Mr. Puzzle. Today's episode is about this puzzle here called Convolution Ball. Made by Pelican Puzzles in Czech Republic, entirely out of wood. And you can see this is an absolute premium product. You can see that there are various types of wood used. There have been also two other variants. But this variant is made out of seven different kinds of wood. On the parts we can see paddock. We can see acacia wood. We have also some zebrano wood in here. So this is just amazingly well made. Definitely one of the most beautiful and satisfying looking puzzles I have in my collection. Also, it comes with this wooden stand here with the Pelican logo and absolutely necessary to put this thing here on your shelf. I expect this puzzle not to be too difficult. Therefore, I would like to review another puzzle today. I will review this one here. It's called Bent Again, a puzzle made out of two nails where you need to disentangle these two nails here from each other. This one, you, as you can see here, is made by Mr. Puzzle Australia, which is not related to this channel. So in case I have some time left, I will also do this puzzle after this one. So stay tuned and don't just close the video when this is done. So I think that's it regarding the introduction. And oh, this thing is so beautiful. <laughs> after the spoiler break, I will try to take this one apart and get it back together. Okay, so let's just try it. I waited a long time to be able to try this puzzle because this was sold some years, I think, ago. But I was not able to get one back then. But this time I was able to get one and this thing is just looking amazing. So let's have a first look on how to disassemble it. The first thing I do is I spin it and see if maybe the pieces will come apart. No, this does not seem to work. Then let's have a look and check out if I can find a piece which is loose. You can see there is a slight free play between the parts, which is probably necessary to that it won't get stuck. I think this one here, you can see this is not interlocking in this direction. Yep, <laughs> right guess. I was able to shift it out and wow. Look how complicated these pieces are. I think probably now it gets much easier. Yes, we have another one here. This one I still can't get out. Oh man, this feels so incredibly satisfying. So what's the next one? It seems this one also comes out. So I need to shift this one over here. Maybe I'm able to shift this one out. Wow. Look at this, how beautiful this looks. Oh man. Just wow. And now the challenge begins because now I need to put them back together. I think it would be also cool to receive this disassembled in this condition and then just reassemble it. So let me just try to get it back together. This looks good. Not sure if this is the correct position. No. Ah, that's interesting. Based on the alignment between the pieces, you can already see that this is must be wrong because you can see there is a step in here appearing in here. And this can't be correct. I'm confused. <laughs> I have to admit, I'm confused. So, what? Okay, maybe like this. Ah, this, no, no, this does not work. It does not fit here. These are not very well aligned. Maybe like this. Yes, this, this looks right. This looks right. Okay, have you seen it? So it was like so. 
Okay, now let's go on with this piece here. Yes, this looks also right. So this is very well aligned. It's nice that you get instantly the feedback if you put some parts together that this is probably right. Makes it easier, of course. But since it's made out of wood, I think there's not much possibility to avoid it. And this one comes here. Yes. I think now it was complicated. I do not remember the, the order of the parts. I'm quite sure this need to fit in here because of this edge and this edge. And this looks like they belong together. I remember there was a, a, a move where I moved two piece at the, pieces at the same time. I think it was this one, but let's just try it again. Let's try it in a different order, like so. Hmm. Ah. Not sure if this is right. Have you seen it? I twisted this one. So I need to move it over here to the front and then I can twist them it and take this one out. I'm not sure if this is the right move. If you have this puzzle, let me know if this is the right move or if there must be another move. So I twist it, put it together, then twist it to the outside. Wow, cool move. And then it's interlocked. Very cool move. And I think this was the next one. Oh, this is so satisfying, I tell you. The perfect weekend puzzle. Here we go. And last but not least, otherwise it would look a little strange, is this one. Yes, here we go. Back in position. I can only repeat it, this puzzle as well as the design is insanely well, well made. Super cool, super high quality and super satisfying. The convolution ball by Pelican. I put your link in the video description, of course, where you can get this thing. And um, I hope there will be some available because there have been only a few available when I bought the thing. Maybe they are sold out, but I can tell you they will come back in stock soon. So just check it out. And I promised you we will also have a look at this puzzle here, the two nails, which is, which is by the way, pretty cool on this thing here is that you can place something, for example, in here and place it on your desk. I have no idea how this works. However, I will now give it a first try and disentangle these two nails. So let's just have a first look. They are seem to be completely symmetric. So just fiddling around a little bit with it. Usually this has something to do here with this area of the nails, this one and this one. But you somehow can shift them apart. Most of the times, by the way, you can't see it at all and it will just happen. Uh, okay. Now this looks super cool. <laughs> A metal knot entirely entangled. <laughs> this looks cool. And let's see. No, you can also don't shift it apart like this. I I can't shift it apart like this also, so it doesn't really help. Now I need to get them back in the initial state. Ah, okay, which is this one. Ooh. Hmm. Difficult, more difficult than expected. I want to get them on top of each other and then can see this if I could move this a little bit higher I could get it out but I can't get into this position oh maybe like here like so yes yes here we go have you seen it? No, I guess not. Let me repeat it. This is a super satisfying move. Wow. I did not expect this puzzle having such a cool solution. So just have a look how this works. I twisted it down here. 
like 180 degrees like so and then what did I do I just flipped it over here over here and in this position you can do what I intended in the beginning you can move this one over here and the other one oh through this loop over here and this entangle it wow this looks super satisfying and I can also imagine you can demonstrate this to someone and he has no idea what you did if you give the puzzle later so again assembly like so put it on the top get it in here and then just twist it all the way around until you're here and disassembly twist it over here and then flip it around and take it apart confusing but super cool this was the bent again puzzle back on the wooden plate and these have been the two puzzles for today completely different puzzles both satisfying and this one i expected to be super cool it was super cool this one i was not sure but it's also pretty cool it's rather an easy puzzle this one i would rate only with a two out of a maximum of five this one i think the same still two absolute recommendable puzzles and until next time keep on puzzling <laughs>